Hello, today we're back on Hooper. We're off of Ivy Log Gap Road. And this is, we just started the gravel portion. This is going to be gravel for a while. It's sort of a loop around my neighborhood. Um, it actually warmed up today. It's like in the low 60s, so I thought it would be fun to uh, do a little gravel today. And these roads should be somewhat dry. We've had a lot of rain, and we're supposed to get more rain tomorrow and Thursday. Thunderstorms and Lord knows what, so. But I, I've been on this road a few times, and um, it's a little slimy in some parts, but overall it's hard packed dirt. Uh, gravel, it's not too bad. I don't anticipate any uh, too much mud. You know, I'm not a big fan of mud. But this will come to like a T and um, you can either go to the left and that goes out to like uh, Forest Service Road 100 and if you go to the right, I've never gone to the right so we're going to go to the right this time and that's I think 334 I could be wrong but I think that's what it said on the map yeah this for the most part is, is pretty hard packed dirt with gravel on the crowns and on the sides, so it's it's a it's a pretty easy little trail, but it's so close to my starting point. I figured, well, it's a lot closer than driving all the way over to Suches, which is about an hour away. not too bad There is, there is traffic on this road, so it's mindful to stay as far to the right as possible on these blind corners. Those people do live on this road, and it does go out, so... I'm never really going too fast anyway, so never in a hurry. Riding a bike like this is just sort of a detox for me. It's uh I'd much rather ride on a road like this than on the street with traffic because there you got to deal with all the idiots that are texting each other and not really paying attention. We got some new gravel here, but it isn't any big deal. If you're not used to gravel, you just sort of have to let the bike wobble its way through. If you white knuckle the handlebars, you'll you'll get into more trouble. It's better to let the bike just 
move around a little bit no big deal they maintain this road so uh, that's a good thing I guess Uh, right around up to this bend should be where we can go to the right right here well that's good because if we wanted to go the other way see they got that road um, blocked off now that wasn't blocked off the last time but yeah, this is road 334 to the right. Um, I've gone the other way, and like I said, that, that hooks you up on um, 100. But I, I guess, I don't know, maybe because it's so wet and they don't want you, they don't want, want the road tore up. I don't know. But this is open, so we're gonna go the way that's open, right? And I've never gone this way, so I always like going on a on a route that I've never gone before. All these roads sort of look the same. So This is a slow incline all the way up. We're we're gaining altitude. I have this route in my Garmin, so it's really a, a no-brainer. You just, you can be brain dead and just follow the Garmin. But like I said, I, I'm not, I'm not very far from my backyard, so. Oops, Papa. Big old puddle. It's okay, Hooper needs a bath anyway. This time of year with no leaves, you, you get a good view up here. In the summer, this has a canopy, a, a, a leaf canopy, which is nice because then it's shady and it's not so hot. But right now you can actually see out in the valley there, it's a nice view. I believe this will actually come out to some tarmac at some point. I think going the other way might be a little bit longer in the, in the dirt. But this is, this is cool dirt. This is nothing that I would consider gnarly. Even though, with Hooper being kickstart, I always have a finger on the clutch. And anybody who knows XRs, you learn clutch control real quick unless you enjoy kicking bikes over. Although when this bike is warm, you know, it's a, it's a one kick bike, but if you're on a steep hill, I'm not gonna lie, it's a pain in the ass to kick it. If I wasn't so lazy, I would be standing the whole way up, but you know, I'm lazy and this route is really not that gnarly. People must have been using it because it's not all leaf covered. 
in the fall when the leaves are down and these roads are all leaf covered that can be sketchy sometimes because you have no idea where the rocks are you're just like riding blind so in those situations I totally understand why you'd want to pay a lot of attention this is a nice little road I actually like going up a loose rocky road instead of coming down a loose rocky road but sometimes you don't have any choice oh I guess this was the wrong way to go because this road is not open and possibly maybe somebody's driveway not sure on that So we'll turn around. I guess we were supposed to come this way. Bloody Ripper! There we go. Follow the yellow brick road. Now we got some fresh car tracks here, so I'm not the only one making tire marks. Oh, we got some wild turkeys. Wild turkeys. Good sized wild turkeys. Yeah, buddy. What's around the mountain here? Well, you can see pretty far, pretty far up here. Probably about 3,000 feet, I'm just guessing. We're descending. Blairsville's over there. Got little parts of new gravel. Number two gravel. Sandy here. A lot of tree limbs down. Yeah, the GPS is saying uh, almost thirty two hundred feet here. But we can't really complain at 62 degrees. A lot of places this time of year, you are not riding. North Georgia, uh, Western North Carolina is all pretty good dual sport riding. There's your fair share of single track around here, and then there's there's.
paid places you can go. OHV areas and stuff. But some of those places I'm not really that crazy about. Only because the four-wheelers really rut it out. And we have so many roads like this, so many Florida service roads. Um, if you like this kind of thing, now some people are strictly, they, they like single track and gnarly shit, but I don't go after the hardest challenge, you know, it's just not my thing. Everybody has a thing. That looked like a real gnarly road up there. That was pretty deep and... This is going to come out the Gumlog Road. We have some Bambies up here. Some white-tailed deer. Yeah, this will hook up to Gumlog. Oh, we had a big tree come down here. Somebody uh, did the chainsaw thing. The thing with this XR is like there was a bunch of branches across the road. You have momentum going down like that, you don't even worry about it. You just go over all that shit and you don't even feel it. Some people slow down. That's the last thing you want to do is slow down. Just let the weight of the bike mother you over that crap. You're through it before you realize what you went over. Momentum is your best friend. 2.4 miles to Gumlog. Alright, I'll shut up. Twenty nine hundred feet here. Chinese horn. It's like a scooter. You know some people put those train horns on your bike. Big old hunk of loose rock. I mean, that's something you definitely wouldn't want to hit buried under the leaves. Give you a pretty effed up day. Coming down the mountain.
There's a lot of loose branches, like we had a windstorm or something. I think Thursday we're supposed to have thunder sh thunder sh uh, storms. That should be interesting. So far I really like these tusk pannier bags. Um, I, did had the, I did have to modify the right hand side bag because the, the water bottle holder was in the way of my boot when I have to kickstart this beast. So I, I, I just repositioned it. I took it from the front of the bag and I put it on the rear of the bag. and. No worries. But before, even though that water bottle bag is, is maybe like three or four inches in diameter, it was just enough to interfere with kicking the bike. And for me, I like to make it as easy as possible and not have to fight it so much when you're getting your aerobic workout. So we took care of that. But other than that, I, I really like the bags. Um, I, th I think they'll do pretty well. I, I th I've watched some other gear review videos on online and they, they get pretty positive um, reviews. I mean, they're an inexpensive bag. Now look at these idiots that camp here that just throw all their trash around. Isn't that awful? Um, yeah, these bags were like two and a quarter, which is pretty cheap in this day and age. Now, why did somebody drop a couch there? Come on, you know? People just have no respect. I mean, there's plenty of places you can drop couches, even free of charge. You don't have to take them out on these roads like this and throw them down an embankment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? So, yeah, I like the bags. I haven't packed them to the extent, like, I haven't packed them like I'm going on a trip yet. But my theory is if I need more room than these panniers and a top bag, I'm taking way too much shit. And it's real easy to take more shit than what you need. You know, there's a million videos that people say, this is what I take when I go motor camping. You know, and I get it, you know. Some people are real minimalists. Some people, like their kitchen pack is, is, you know, one spoon and they're good, you know. Other people have accessories like Martha Stewart's coming with you. So, you know, everybody has a different degree of what they feel they need. And of course, after you do several excursions you'll know what works best for you I used to camp quite a bit when I was on my KLR that's when I was living further north I mean, there's certain things that... Bloody Ripper, look at this. Why did they close this? <laughs> Why would it be closed in this direction and open in the other direction? So that's what we have to do there. I guess it's maybe good that it's closed here. It keeps the traffic off. Okay, this is Gumlog Road, so we're going to make a left here. I'm not sure if that was the last of the 
that might have been it for the gravel so if so I am going to end this video because to me this kind of uh, travel is sort of boring I don't want to bore you to tears here so let me pull over here and get myself situated and we'll knock down this um, this video until the next time so uh, thanks for riding along and we will catch you on the next one we're gone for now keep on keep on